Hey everyone, we're going to run a simple penetration and expansion test in 357 Magnum Remington 158 grain semi-jacketed hollow point. Their product number is R357M2. I think this has been around a few years. I found a box uh, recently at a local retailer, 50 rounds for $45 plus tax. That's not too bad. You might find it a little bit cheaper online. And I don't think I have tested a semi-jacketed hollow point up to this juncture. There's a close-up for you, the scalloped copper jacket and a fair amount of exposed lead. Now because of that style or design and the weight, some folks might shy away from this for self-defense purposes. Others, on the other hand, might say that's a pretty good load for hunting, small and possibly medium-sized game up to a reasonable distance. So could have a couple of utilities in this specific cartridge. Has a little bit of velocity behind it. Advertised 1,235 feet per second on the Remington website. They have indicated that is from a four inch barrel. For this test, I'm dropping down just a little bit. Three inch barrel out of the Ruger GP100. And there are my five shots. And the average of those is coming in at 1,158 feet per second. That is 470 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. Next up is a block of the sim test. I'll be tagging that from 10 feet. It has been recalibrated so that it is comparable to 10% ordnance gel and I'm adding four layers of denim. Pulled it left just a little bit, but no pass through on the 22 inch 50 pound block. Okay, the wind has picked up, so I'm gonna to have to talk over that, apologize for it. This is the left side of the track. I'm just gonna show you this side because I made a really good cut all the way through. Expansion starts about a half inch in. This permanent cavity, beginning at the half inch mark, runs to approximately six and a half inches. I'm gonna give it that. Going in this direction, going down, from this perspective, that's about half an inch. Running across here, there's a lot that opened up under here that you really can't see on the surface, but I try to pick up on that. So if you measure from the inside of that to just the inside of this edge over here, it's about one and one eighth inches. Pretty good cavity through there. And we keep moving, you can see we pulled in a, a lot of denim, or out to the eight, nine, 10 inch mark, still rolling. At some point, this turned back to the inside of the block or to the right, and you see my mark right there. I'm going to give this 13 and one quarter inches. 13.25 inches. Very nice mushroom effect there. There's the high end on the expanded diameter, but the average is coming in at 0.652 inches. Retain weight just a little bit heavier than what we started out with, 158.4 grains. I think it's interesting that uh, some of us, myself included, seem to be falling all over ourselves trying to get our hands on the latest and greatest in bullet technology. Then you come across something like this. One of the best choices out there could be something that's been on the market for a very long time and we just have a tendency to overlook it because of the latest and greatest. And I think this is one of those examples. Thanks for watching.